Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install macOS Sequoia 15.1 developer beta on an unsupported Mac using OpenCore Legacy Patcher. And the best part, you don't need an Apple developer account. Before we get started, here's what you'll need. OpenCore Legacy Patcher, a USB drive with at least 32 gigabytes of storage, the macOS Sequoia 15.1 developer beta installer, and finally, an unsupported Mac. I'll be using a 2015 MacBook Pro for this tutorial. Here is a list of other devices that OpenCore Legacy Patcher supports and can install macOS Sequoia. Now, download the OpenCore Legacy Patcher tool. Head over to the official GitHub page, which I've linked in the description, and grab the latest release. Once downloaded, go to the download location and open the OpenCore Legacy Patcher installer. Follow the standard installation process. We'll be using this tool to patch your Mac and create a bootable macOS Sequoia installer. The next step is to download the macOS Sequoia 15.1 beta installer. You won't need an Apple developer account for this. We'll be downloading from Mr. Macintosh's website. Huge thanks to him for this one. I've included a link in the description where you can download the beta installer. Be cautious when downloading from third-party sources. Always use trusted links to avoid any issues. Once downloaded, Go to the Downloads folder and open installassistant.pkg. This will copy the macOS Sequoia installer to your Applications folder, which we are going to need later. Now that you have the macOS Sequoia installer and OpenCore Legacy Patcher, it's time to create a bootable USB installer. Insert a USB drive with at least 32 gigabytes of storage, then open Disk Utility, select your USB drive, and format it as macOS Extended, journaled, with the GUID partition scheme. Next, launch the OpenCore Legacy Patcher. From the main menu, select the Create macOS Installer option and point it to the macOS Sequoia installer you downloaded. The process may take a few minutes depending on your USB speed. Once done, the USB will be ready to install macOS Sequoia. After the installer is created, you will be prompted to install OpenCore the USB's EFI partition. Click Yes. Choose your USB flash drive and choose the EFI partition of your USB.
Now we're ready to install Mac OS. Restart your Mac while holding the Option key to access the Boot menu. Select your USB drive from the list and boot into the OpenCore installer. Once you are in recovery mode, you can choose to do a clean install or just do the update to an existing Mac OS. If you want to do a clean install, first, open Disk Utility. Choose your drive. As an example, I'm choosing my external drive. Click Erase, then erase the drive with APFS format. After erasing the drive, you can now proceed to the macOS installation. From here, follow the standard macOS installation process. Choose the disk you want to install macOS Sequoia on and let the installer run. This can take some time, so be patient. During the installation, your Mac will reboot multiple times. For me, it's about three to five times, so just sit back and let it do its thing. On the first boot, OpenCore will detect that we are booting from the USB and recommend that we install OpenCore to the internal disk of our Mac. Click OK and install OpenCore to the internal hard drive of your Mac. Reboot. Once macOS Sequoia and OpenCore is installed, there's one final step, applying post-install patches. This step is crucial for getting everything, like graphics, Wi-Fi, and more, working properly. After rebooting, open OpenCore Legacy Patcher from Applications. Select Post Install Root Patch and let it apply the necessary patches for your Mac. Once done, reboot your system. Congratulations! You're now running macOS Sequoia 15.1 Developer Beta on your unsupported Mac. Take some time to explore the new features, but remember, this is still a beta version, so you may encounter bugs. If you run into any issues, check the OpenCore Legacy Patcher GitHub page for troubleshooting tips.